I'm making roast beef for supper. I did it this way about a month or so ago, and we really liked it. Um, these are still partially frozen, but it's two chunks of a chuck roast, and so I put them in there together, just put some um, garlic and onion, dried garlic and onion on it, a little bit of salt and pepper, no juice or anything. I'm gonna put the foil on it and I'm let it go, gonna let it cook at 350 for about three hours. And then I'll get in there and it'll shred apart. And then I'm gonna let it cook again for about another 45 minutes and I'll show you. Okay, my roast beef has been cooking with the foil on it for three hours now. I'm gonna see if I can cut it up a little bit. made a lot of its own juice, which is nice. I can make some gravy. Let's see if I can cut this up. It's probably just gonna fall apart, but I'm gonna try. I didn't put any liquid on this at all. cutting up really nice. I'm going to put it back in there, take some of that juice off so I can make gravy. And I'll get the other piece out and cut it. fat off. That's what made it so good. But we don't need that fat. Okay. I'm going to pour this into here so that I can make some gravy. And I'm going to put the meat back in dish. Too much meat for the two of us, but I plan to use this for a couple of meals. There it is. Just wanted to show you that this roast is fork tender. It just breaks right apart. I love cooking it that way. That was about a three pounds of roast. And I only put seasonings on it, put foil on it, baked it in the oven for approximately three and a half hours, uh, took it out and cut it up, and then put it back in the oven for another maybe 20 minutes. You can do it without the foil but and let it braise up, but I didn't chose I didn't choose to do that. I just left it uh, with the foil on and it made more juice and it was very tender and juicy, not dry at all. Thank you for watching.